Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In today's video, we're going to be making a Pokemon competitive ready for ranked. This is going to be Meowscarada, as you saw on the title and thumbnail. Now, Meowscarada has a very good speed and a very high physical attack. So we're going to use this as a physical attacker, probably set it up to be a sweeper to take on enemy teams and, you know, hopefully take advantage of the grass and dark typing that we have to counter many of the other Pokemon in the game. So now, while I would like to use this one over here, unfortunately, this is the one that I started out as my starter Pokemon, and it has its EVs all a little bit in different places over there. It is, it's only been skewed a slight amount, but we're going to go ahead and breed a new one to start from scratch, because I don't like playing with these dirty Pokemon, secondhand used Pokemon. <laughs> All right, so before we go outside, we're going to go stop at the sandwich shop here, get an egg power sandwich, nice and cheap. It's right over here at the Mesagosa, this little sandwich store that you get your sandwich recipes from as well. We're going to go inside here, speak to the lady, tell her you want a sandwich, and we're going to go make a marmalade sandwich here for just, just under a thousand uh, Poké Dollars. All right, so we got egg power level one from that sandwich, which will be enough. We only need one egg from Miascarada and Ditto, so we're just going to go outside and make a picnic. Okay, so we're outside, we've got Ditto, and we've got Meowscarada in the party alone, we're making a picnic. Alright, there they are, and now I, now we just have to wait. We just wait by the basket until we get an egg. I just want one egg, because I want to make a fresh Meowscarada. And there we go, we finally have an egg. Great, we just have one, that's great, I'm going to end the picnic right there. I don't want more. Okay, so now we go to our boxes, and we're going to go ahead and put this egg in the party with the flame body over here, the, the car call. All right, so with the flame body Pokemon and the egg in the party, we're just gonna go run around and hatch this egg quick. Oh, looks like the egg is about to hatch. Imagine the odds of getting a shiny on only one egg. Imagine, not today. All right, cool. So we have our Sprigatito and now we're gonna go ahead and evolve it. So we're gonna go to our bags and we're gonna just get it over to level 52 or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it these large candies. You can have all 72 of them, it's fine. 80, level 88, that's fine. They're, they're, honestly, that's perfect. We don't even really have to go all the way to 100 because in ranked battles, the Pokemon stops at level 50. You just have to be around level 50 or just be around a level where you get all the moves that you wanna equip on the Pokemon. And in this case, we only need level 52, but we're gonna quickly evolve over here. We have to force another evolution. Go ahead with the rare candy. Kaboom. Let's go. Another evolution. Let's go. And there we have a new Mouscarada. And it learned the move Flower Trick, which is actually going to be the move that we're focusing on today. So let's go into the moves quickly. Check the summary. So on its moves, you're going to click Rearrange Moves, and you're going to move Flower Trick to the beginning. That's the one we want right in the first. We're going to forget the other ones right now because we're going to replace those. So I'm just going to make it nice and easy. Okay, so the next move we're going to teach it should be in Remember Moves. Now, this is after you get to level 52, and that is the knockoff move over here. That is really good because it does dark type damage, which is we are a dark type, and it makes you basically slap the opponent's held item. If they are holding one, it will make them do more damage, and they will lose that item, which is great. The next move we want to learn is actually also in Remember Moves, and that is Trick over here. This allows you to swap held items with your opponent. So if your opponent is got like a really annoying held item, or they are like, you know, one of those like, you know, specific Pokemon that need to use multiple moves and like delay a whole battle. If you swap this with a, a choice item and you give the enemy a choice item, they are forced to use one move over and over and it's going to like, you know, keep them really stuck. So if you have one of those Pokemon that are trying to like, you know, outplay you a very slow way, the trick is going to help you recover that. And for the very final move, I want to put on Sucker Punch, but we have to learn this as an egg move. So we need to find another Pokemon that has Sucker Punch, which is going to be interesting. All right, so I've got Spiritomb over here, and you can see here it has the Sucker Punch move. So we're going to go ahead and put that in our party, and this is going to be great. Now we have to go into our bags and we have to equip the Mirror Herb which I do have a video in the description showing you how to do all of these things anyway as well in case you are looking for all of these different things. Here's the Mirror Herb, put it on. We're going to give this Mirror Herb to our male Scarada, and that is going to allow it to learn the move Sucker Punch. And to do this, we go into another picnic. You run a quick lap around the picnic, and then you're done with the picnic, and you're finished. And we should have Sucker Punch on our Melscarada now. Let's go check its moves. There we have Sucker Punch in the final one. I do actually want to change the order of this to have this over here. There we go. So Trick is the final one. It's only really situational. Sucker Punch is only if you know the enemy Pokemon's faster than you and you want to get off a hit first because you're probably going to die if they hit you first. That's where you need to use that. 
but overall, you're probably gonna be spamming flower trick the entire time. Okay, so now we can go ahead and put away the held item, the mirror herb, we no longer need it. We're gonna equip the item that we do need from our bag over here, and this is gonna be a choice band. And there it is, the choice band. We're gonna put the choice band, which increases our attack stat by 1.5. So that's 150% of our attack. I keep trying to use it. Give it to the Pokemon, silly. So that makes our attack stat 150% more than usual, but forces us only to be able to use one move. So in the case of Flower Trick, that's perfect. In case of another Pokemon showing up that's really gonna annoy you, you can start out with Trick and you swap the items with the enemy and then you probably will be able to use any other move you want. So you have Trick as an example, but you have to use it first. All right, so now we're gonna head over to our favorite place, the ghost type gym, Montenevra. We're gonna fly there. All right, so now we're gonna change the nature. We're gonna hyper train and we're gonna EV train. So let's do the nature first. We need to be the jolly nature. I actually don't know what nature we are. Let's check. Check summary. We are the modest nature, which actually is the opposite of what we want because it's terrible. So let's go into our bags here and we're gonna go change to the jolly nature. So what this nature is gonna do is make our speed stat stronger so that we can be a little bit faster, but it's gonna make our special attack lower, which is fine because we don't use any special attack. We're gonna use it on Mascarada, cool, done. And then if you go ahead and we look at Mascarada, we check summary, check the arrows here, you can see special attack arrow down, speed arrow up. There we go, all done. Okay, so while we're at the Pokesensor here at Montenevra, we're gonna go speak to this dude here with the Abominus new, and we're gonna hyper train. We're just gonna use normal bottle caps and let's see which ones do we have to raise. Um, we're gonna do attack. Uh, we don't need special attack. We use special defense and we use speed. That's all we need. Special attack is not something we're gonna use, so we don't need to hyper train it. You can if you want though. All right, while you're in the same area here, you can buy those mints and the protein nutrition drinks over here at this store. But like I said before, uh, if you need any advice or like the, the guide on how to get all these things here, there is a video linked in the description to show you. Now the stats we're gonna use for EV training are going to be 252 attack. So we're gonna go ahead to our rare items here. We're gonna use protein. I'm gonna use 26 of them. I have I have money, man. I, I can use all of this, it's fine. So 26 here to get 252 EVs into attack. And then we're gonna go speed, which is Carbos. And we're gonna use 26 of these as well to get 252 speed EVs onto, onto our Masquerada. And then we're just gonna go HP up, which, well, we can actually use the Health Feather so that, go, go ahead and use Health Feathers just to get one extra stat into HP. And guys, we are technically done. This Masquerada is now ready for ranked combat. And to show you some gameplay footage of me using this in a ranked match, this is my second ranked match actually, testing this Masquerada in, in combat here. You can see here, we're going to terrestrialize into a grass type and we're gonna use flower trick, as we said, with our choice band, which is gonna increase our attack basically by you know an extra 50%. Means we're gonna hit pretty hard. The opponent I'm up against here has three Pokemon. I'm down to two. And we're using a not very effective move against it because we're stuck using Flower Trick over and over and over again. And it's working really well. So we also had Glamora go down at the beginning already and it's left Poison Spores on the ground or Toxic Spores. I, I forget what the word is called. But basically every single Pokemon on the enemy side that comes in gets poisoned immediately. We also have Stealth Rock up in the arena. And for some reason I was able to use Flower Trick twice. If you know why that is, I don't know. Actually, I, I couldn't figure out why I was able to go twice and and their Meowskarada couldn't go twice. It was very interesting. I don't understand that. Anywho, their next Pokemon is Dragapult over here. So this is a speedy boy. This means we're gonna take a hit from this thing because this thing is god awfully fast. It is insanely fast. It's poisoned and it also got damaged by the, the stones from Stealth Rock. So it's already at a disadvantage slightly. As you can see, it's health bar at the top right. We are forced to use Flower Trick again because obviously we have the choice band. So I'm going in the sweeping mode. We're basically spamming um, the, the Flower Trick over and over until Meowskarara dies. Meowskarada. God, why is that word so hard to say the more times I say it? My opponent's Dragapult here has gone into a Steel Terrestrialization, so we're still using Flower Trick and hopefully we're not able to get it down. It's still not effective, unfortunately. And now we're gonna take a hit from Dragon Darts. Obviously this is two darts. Hopefully I survive it. I've just managed to survive it. Even if I didn't, I do have a Dragapult up in backup, which we would be able to help take this thing out. But it looks like this Dragapult is gonna go down. Its health is really low. I'm gonna be able to get a, a, a flower trick off here, which means we are going to, we're going to finish this Dragapult off right now in one easy fashion. And her final Pokemon that she has for me is going to be incredibly weak to Grass type. 
because it is the washing machine Rotom um, style one here. So this Dragapult down, her terrestrialization is gone and we're still up here. We basically sweeped two of her Pokemon with our Miascarada. And now we're we waiting for the, the Washroom one up here. I forget what this thing's called. Well, it's just Rotom basically, but with the, the washing machine mode. So it's water type. And we're gonna use Flower Trick, which is super effective, which is going to absolutely destroy any water types that you go up against. So this thing is a gonzo. So just like this and kaboom. Literally just sweeped her entire team with Flower Trick. Every single Pokemon down with one move. And that is why I think this is a good um, competitive Pokemon to use in that sense. So I hope you guys do give it a shot if you are looking for a Gross Pokemon or a Dark type Pokemon, though this kind of leans a bit more to Gross. And yeah, thank you for watching.